Hi, everyone. Today we teach you to upgrade the 2013 Audi Q3. The original car has a small screen and a few features, and is ready to upgrade it to Android's larger screen. This is our updated Android screen, which has a lot of features. Support mobile phone wireless carplay. You can use voice assistant here. Make phone calls. Listen to music. Use maps online navigation and so on. So you want to know how to upgrade? Follow the video to learn how. First, we use a tool to pry open the vent panel. Pry the inside clasp along the size of it. After taking it off, you can observe that there are two plugs on the back of the outlet, which we need to remove. After removing the air outlet, begin to remove the original car screen. It has only one fixing screw. It needs to be removed. Now we use the tool to pry open the base of the original car screen. It has a clip on the left and the right sides need to pry it loose, and then you can go to the screen. Okay, once removed, unplug the LVDS plug and screen plug on the back of it. And then we pull all these three harness fasteners. Now remove the CD host, get two of these metal keys, and insert them into the car slots on the CD host. To the right depths, you can pull the CD host directly out. Note that it has a lot of plugs on the back. Here you just need to unplug its power and fiber. Now remove its air conditioning key panel. We use the tool long the gap also pry its buckle. Note that it has a lot of plugs on the back. Here you just need to unplug its power and fiber. This is what it looks like when it's all turned on. Now we begin to lay out the new power card. Thread the white end of the new power harness from the CD host position and thread the wide end to the original car screen position along the gap next to the outlet position. Then thread the air conditioner adapter on the harness through the gap inside the CD host position to the air conditioner panel position. Now let's connect the black end of the air conditioner adapter to the original air conditioner plug. Then connect the yellow end of the air conditioner converter and cable to the air conditioner panel. Once connected, reinstall the panel. Now let's connect the power supply and connect this end of the new power supply to the original CD power plug. Then the other end of it we connect to the CD host. Finally reconnect the optical fiber plug. Reinstall the CD host. Okay, now we install the metal piece it comes with under our new screen base and secure it with two screws. Now connect the new screen. This is the LVDS plug. This is the screen power plug. Once connected, you can mount the new screen, align it with the edge of its base and press it in. Then these two clasps need to be picked with a tool so that the entire edge of the base is aligned. 
Don't forget to refasten the screw. Now let's reinstall the air outlet panel and reconnect these two plugs first. Then just stick it in. This is what it looks like after completion. Because the first installation, the Android system has no sound. We wait to boot it for sound source settings. We first enter the original car system. Click the button media. Select the playback source. Select a UX external sound input. And click OK. Now we go into the Android Music APP. And we can make sound normally. Suppose during view button operation screen. We go to settings or personalize the settings. Key mirroring or click to check. Suppose dark safety alerts. An electronic dashboard is available. Support map navigation. You can also download other map software. You can watch local or online videos. Phone calls can be made through the screen. Well, that's all for the video. Thanks for watching.